Julianne, hi, Byron with Awards Focus. How are you? Hi, I'm very good. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm enjoying the beautiful cast. We, 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 we have a lot of love for each other. I heard you guys got together last night. We did get together last night. We, we were a little worried that if we didn't, that the red carpet just wouldn't happen, that we would just be hugging and talking and get no photos. So we did get together last night. We got together quite a lot during filming. That helps build a lot of the, you know, the important bonds and that sort of comfort with the cast to take risks as actors because that's really what makes the, you know, the experience electrifying for the audience and for yourself. Yeah, it really does. It also, with material that's this deep and this intense, um, I think we all needed some joy. And so we created that. It was still, we were still in, in pandemic times, so we were all being tested three times a week. So we kind of created a pod with each other and created that, created a little lightness and joy for each other. So we could go where we needed to go when we were at work. Tell us a bit about the character and who your, mostly your scene partners were on the show. I play Diane Robichaux. Uh, I run a long-term care facility called Life Care that rents out the seventh floor of Memorial Hospital from Tenant Healthcare. That seems really benign at first, but it becomes dire as the days and the episodes roll on. Um, I have the largest amount of my scene work in the main cast with Cherry Jones, and that just makes the 22-year-old graduating from theater school in me just like squeal with delight still that that happened. I still can't believe that happened. Um, but she's she's quite wonderful. When you think back, is there one scene in particular that you really felt was electric or you found something on the day that you didn't envision when reading the script? Well, John Ridley and Carlton Cuse are such good directors that I rarely wound up where I thought we would be when we started a scene. However, there is a scene in episode five, and I won't spoiler it for anyone, with Damon Standifer, who plays Emmett Everett. And I don't... Um, Mm. I, I don't know that I will ever recover from that scene. It was um, I, it was beautiful and emo it was the most emotionally naked I think I've ever been on set. It was so gorgeously written and directed by John Ridley, and uh, and I have a lot of love for Damon as a person and as an actor. Um, he mentioned that to us actually, and I can see that you're feeling it now going I back. I can't. Um, you know, I really pride myself as an actor being able to walk away from the work because that, that helps you go there. I'm, you know, I like to leave work at work, and I wasn't always successful with this one. And there are some scenes and some episodes that uh, obviously are still with me right now. Um, maybe we're not supposed to always recover from these things. Maybe they're supposed to stay with us. Especially when you're working on something that has such an important message and can really hopefully shake people out of apathy and you know make them realize the importance of climate crisis as well as just health care improvements that are a necessity. A corporate health care. My side of the storyline is a real indictment of corporate health care. We really need to have that conversation in this country. We need to have a conversation about how we respond to these moments of collective crises, including the pandemic. We're not that much better at it than we were during Katrina. And we have the means in this country. We just don't always have the will. So I'd like to see this show create a demand from the people that we, that our leaders and our institutions create a better response in the moment, not a week later, but in the moment of a disaster. Who are we? What do we want to do? Who do we want to be? I'm inspired right now just talking to you. <laughs> I, I think I think you're an incredible person. I look forward to seeing more of your work. Can you tell us what you're working on next or anything we should be looking for? Uh, well, first of all, five days at Memorial. Watch, watch, watch. Uh, I just wrapped a movie for Netflix, and I'll be going back to... Um, I actually don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to say that yet. We'll, we'll, so there you go. Tucker that for you. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good night.